To most people, intelligence and kindness matter more than beauty. This doesn't only apply to choosing human friends, but also in choosing a dog companion. In most cases, it's almost impossible to find a pooch that has it all. If you're looking for one, the search is over. Today, let's look into two of the most all-in-one dogs on the planet, the Golden Doodle and the Labrador Retriever. Although these creatures come from different backgrounds, they have similarities. For example, they're both intelligent, gorgeous, and trainable. If you're faced with this dilemma of choosing between these two, it's almost impossible to decide. So, here's a quick guide to help you. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the most all-in-one dogs, the Golden Doodle and the Labrador Retriever. Is one more intelligent than the other? Appearance The Golden Doodle is known for its golden locks. Because it's a cross between the Golden Retriever and a Poodle, it inherited the color of the Retriever and the non-shedding coat of the Poodle. Despite what people believe, Golden Doodles do not only come in cream and gold, but also black, silver, red, and blue. These creatures also have brown eyes, but on rare occasions, some grow up having blue eyes. The Labrador Retriever, on the other hand, has a short top coat and a dense undercoat. This creature has a broad head and a firm athletic and muscular body. The Lab is known for having strong jaws, powerful necks, and deep expressive eyes. Because of its popularity, people always know a Lab when they see one. Origin the Golden Doodle was first established in the 1990s when breeders decided to create a low-shedding dog that inherits the intelligent of the Golden Retriever. Luckily, they succeeded and were able to raise the first Golden Doodle in Australia. The Labrador Retriever, on the other hand, was established in the 1700s in the capital of Newfoundland. They were first used to help fishermen catch fish and other wildlife creatures. At first, they were named St. John's Water Dog. But as time passed, they were renamed Labrador Retriever after the Labrador Sea, the place where they were first raised. Size Golden Doodles grow in three different sizes, namely miniature, large, or standard. Usually, the males grow 25 to 29 inches and weigh 60 to 90 pounds. Females, on the other hand, can grow from 22 to 25 inches and weigh up to 85 pounds. This height could even be bigger or smaller, depending on the parents of the dog. Male Labrador Retrievers usually grow from 22 to 24 inches in height and 65 to 80 pounds in weight. Females, on the other hand, grow from 21 to 23 inches in height and weigh up to 55 to 70 pounds. Lifespan. According to research, golden doodles live longer than Labrador retrievers. Doodles can live from 12 to 15 years, while the Labrador can live up to 12 years. Experts believe that if people can provide their needs, they can increase their lifespan. Some doodles and Labradors are reported to live up to 20 years. So, if you want to enjoy more time with your pooch, it's important to study how you can care for them properly. Personality. When people think about the Labrador, the first trait that comes to mind includes intelligence, agility, kindness, and loyalty. They can also be mischievous. These moments can make you love them even more. It's almost impossible to resist their charm. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is known for its intelligent, friendly, and energetic nature, which is inherited from its parents. Even though this is a newly established designer dog, it took them a short while to gain popularity. Because of its looks and characteristics, people cannot get enough of their tricks. Shedding Seeing that the coat of the Labrador is thick, dense, and lush, they shed excessively in the household. This is why people with allergies prefer golden doodles. If these dogs inherited the coat of the poodle, then they are safe for allergy sufferers. However, 
If the Golden Doodle inherits the dense coat of the Golden Retriever, it makes them non-ideal for people with allergies. If you insist on having a high-shedding dog despite your condition, you need de-shedding tools and lint removers. This keeps their coat from spreading all over your home and causing a disturbance. Grooming As we all know, Golden Doodles can have two types of coats. If they inherit the thickness of the Goldie, they are more difficult to groom. It's the same for the Labrador Retrievers. Since they are double-coated and have denser coats, expect the need for thicker combs. You're going to need specialized tools to manage their hair. You'll also need to take them to professional groomers every 8 to 12 weeks for maintenance. But if you're lucky enough to have a Golden Doodle that inherits the coat of the Poodle, grooming becomes low maintenance. All you need is a soft brush and a simple dematting comb for their hair. Intelligence It's no surprise that the Golden Doodle and the Labrador Retriever are intelligent. People utilize this brilliance by making them service dogs in nursing homes, mental institutions, and other establishments. They can even serve as guide dogs for the blind and hearing dogs for the deaf. In some cases, they can assist people with epilepsy, cardiac problems, and many more. You can never go wrong in choosing the Golden Doodle or the Labrador. Both offer the services you need. Trainability When it comes to trainability, these dogs are rated 5 out of 5. They are very obedient and are responsive to commands. During training, you can start by teaching them basic abilities or skills such as sitting, potty training, attention getting, and proper walking. You can incorporate some of these activities with play so they can have fun while they absorb various commands. With consistency, your pooch will be a blessing to the countless people in society. Temperament. When it comes to moodiness, the golden doodle is more sensitive. These creatures are easily bored. Plus, they are prone to separation anxiety without their master. If you own a golden doodle, you need to know that they need loads of attention. Without it, they could display negative behavior. They might even develop aggression. The Labrador is more patient. They can tolerate being alone as long as they're given something to play with to keep them busy. But when you come home, make sure to spend time with your pooch by playing with them. They need to expend their energy, or else, like any other dog, they could display destructive behaviors. Family Life Both the Golden Doodle and the Labrador Retriever are social dogs. They love spending time with their family. These dogs love outings, play, walks, and many more. It's your job as their fur parent to involve them in your life and give them a purpose. This way, you can stimulate their brain and bring out their best potential. Apartment Living Because of their high activity level, these dogs prefer living in a place where they can run freely. They don't do well inside apartments and condos. They get restless, especially if they don't receive the exercise they need. During which case, they could be disturbing to your neighbors. If you live in an apartment and you're on a busy schedule, these dogs might not be for you. Consider choosing a pooch with a lower energy level. Friendliness towards strangers. Both the Golden Doodle and the Labrador are social creatures. This makes them welcoming to strangers in public places. They enjoy hanging out with people and other animals. The Doodle and the Lab approach people with happiness and affection, which makes them irresistible. The best part is, these dogs aim to make people smile. The energy they emit, not to mention their tricks, will blow your minds off in a good way. It's almost impossible not to laugh. Watchdog Ability when it comes to their barking tendency, the Labrador has the edge. These creatures make good watchdogs. As much as they are friendly, they are protective of their family. So, whenever they see strangers approaching the house, they tend to be suspicious. Golden Doodles, on the other hand, are likely to be stolen by strangers when they enter the house. They rarely bark, and they welcome everyone warmly. 
So, if you live in a rowdy or dangerous neighborhood, it's best to get a dog that can offer you protection against evildoers. Tolerance to weather. Both the Golden Doodle and the Labrador can withstand extreme temperatures. However, they need proper care despite their resilience. During the summer, it's important to bathe them more often. This helps cool their bodies down to prevent heat strokes. During the winter, don't let them stay out in the cold. Shelter them and protect them from the frost. If you want, you can live with them. Not only will you have a companion, but also a cuddle buddy that can warm you up during the bitter weather. Health. Because of the high activity level of the Labrador, it's prone to dysplasia. This is why vets usually administer hip and elbow examinations to ensure their bone and joint health. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is usually diagnosed with obesity and allergies, especially without a proper diet and exercise. Consult your vet regularly so they can advise the intentions and strategies you can apply to keep your dog healthy and prolong the life. It usually costs more or less $500 annually to care for these dogs. This includes their vet needs, food, and supplies. However, this amount can vary depending on their nutrition needs. It may seem costly, but it doesn't amount to the love and kindness these dogs offer you. The best part is, these dogs can help you with various activities in the household. What better way to enjoy a dog's company than having one who can be as responsible as you are? Thanks for watching! Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come, and we'll see you next time!